Hi all! Welcome to the Success Club! I am reading for you from the book Selling Things by Orison Sweat Marden. This video is sponsored by MyNewSkin.nl. Check out the website Awesome Beauty and Health Products. And I am at When You Are Discouraged, the title of chapter 22. So the man who has acquired the power of keeping his mind filled with the thoughts which uplift and encourage, the optimistic thought, the cheerful hopeful thought, has solved one of the great riddles of life. Don't hunt after trouble but look for success. You'll find what you look for, don't look for distress. If you see but your shadow remember I pray that the sun is still shining but you're in the way. Awesome quotes. All right. Don't grumble, don't bluster, don't dream and don't shirk. Don't think of your worries, but think of your work. The worries will vanish, the work will be done. No man sees his shadow who faces the sun. That's cool. Okay, a young salesman who was mastered himself and also who has mastered himself and also the secret of success recently wrote from the field yesterday it seemed as though everything was going against me there appeared to be something the matter everywhere i called and although i put up a most determined fight failure after failure met me until very late in the evening, I had not then taken a single order. But I made up my mind that I could not go back to my boarding place until I had done a decent day's work. It was this resolution that saved the day, for I took 15 orders before I got home at 9 o'clock. If I had given up to my uh, discouragement, I should simply have said to myself, What's the use? This day is gone and I might as well go home. Take it easy and make the best of it. But I said, no, young man, you are going to go to bed tonight until... You're not going to bed tonight until you have done a good day's work. Many a time such a resolution has saved me when otherwise I would have made a miserable showing. I just make up my mind that no matter what attractions come in my way, no matter what discouragements I meet, I will conquer before the night or I will stay up all night. I find that victory usually follows such a resolution. The prospect feels the influence of such a determination on the part of the salesman. We radiate our moods, our discouragement, our, our courage. The man we approach feels that what we feel, and when we approach him with the spirit of a conqueror, when we go to him with victory in our face, we generally win out. A notably successful salesman says that he made his first great hit after overcoming a fit of deep discouragement, consequent on the loss of his position. When he got another place, he said he started out the first morning with one word ringing in his, in his mind. Determination. He resolved not to turn or not to return without an order. He was determined to make that day a red letter day in his life. To show his new employer what was in him. To convince his prospects. He approached everyone that day with the determination of victory uppermost in his mind. One man afterwards told me he said that I overwhelmed him with my dead-in earnest, earnestness, won him by my determination. The power of the mind, whether favorable or unfavorable, is tremendous. When a man gives way to discouragement, he loses his grip and begins to go down. The bottom seems to drop out of things. And everything helps him the way he is going. His thought connects with him all the thought currents of misfortune, poverty and failure. 
he attracts those things for it is a psychological law that failure attracts failure discouragement more discouragement poverty more poverty to a salesman discouragement is fatal for when a man assumes the discouragement failure attitude he loses power and magnetism there is nothing inspiring in him and he not only loses confidence in himself but his fellow man also lose confidence in him you will find it next to impossible to make a sale with a mind filled with discouragement pessimistic failure thoughts the exercise of a little willpower is all that is necessary for the control of our moods to change discouragement and depression into courage and hope we all know how quickly a child will work itself into a fearful spasm simply by beginning to pity itself the more he indulges in self-pity the louder and louder he will cry until he completely upsets his mind and becomes hysterical when inclined to be blue and discouraged men and women are like children the temptation is to begin to pity ourselves then we go on hanging up more dark pictures on the walls of the mind until we have our whole mentality dressed in mourning it is not very difficult at the beginning of the, a discouraged mood to shut it off by resolutely turning our minds in the opposite direction instead of adding to our depression by pitying ourselves the thing to do is to tear down the back flags the black flags the hideous pictures the gloomy visions of our imagination to clear them all out of our mind and let in sunlight and joy peace and happiness these will very quickly drive away the gloom and discouragement and they are just as ready to enter our minds and to stay with us as their opposites if we will only make room for them when you feel downhearted and mentally depressed when perhaps business is dull and you begin to fear you won't make any sales this trip go somewhere where you can be alone and give yourself an audible self-treatment if this is not possible then give yourself a silent or mental one the form in both cases may be the same but the audible treatment is apt to be more effective since the spoken word makes a deeper impression than that which is merely taught or passed through the mind say to yourself something like this i am a child of god I have a living vital connection with the great source and sustainer of all things which nothing can sever therefore i have nothing to fear i have strength and ability to do whatever it is necessary for me to do i was made to be successful to be happy this is my birthright and nothing can rob me of it i will succeed in everything i undertake today i will be cheerful and happy I am happy because I was made for joy and gladness not for gloom and sadness they are foreign to my nature and I will have nothing more to do with them just fill your mind with good cheerful uplifting thoughts and you will find that your feeling will quickly correspond with your mental attitude after a few minutes of this auto suggestive treatment you will be surprised at the complete transformation of your outlook it is astonishing how we can brace ourselves up by auto suggesting replacing the distressing blue discouraging thoughts with cheerful hopeful optimistic thoughts there are men who are usually quite level-headed but who do the most foolish things when discouraged or suffering from the blues acting under the influence of their moods when the brain is clouded inexact uncertain in its processes instead of clear active and well balanced discouragement colors the judgment whenever you see a person who has been unusually successful in any field remember that he has usually taught himself into this position his mental attitude and energy have created it what he stands for in his community has come from his attitude toward life toward his fellow man toward his vocation toward himself above all else it is the outcome of his self fate of his inward vision of himself 
the result of his estimate of his powers and possibilities. Self-depreciation is one of the characteristics of those suffering from the blues. Most of us do not encourage ourselves enough by optimistic thinking, by auto-suggestion. If you are a victim of your moods, push right into the swim of things and take an active part as well as a real interest in what is going on around you. Associate with people, be glad and happy and interest yourself in others. Keep your mind of yourself. Get away from yourself by entering with zest into the family plans or the plans and pleasures of others about you. The expelling power of a contrary emotion has a wonderful effect upon the mind. The cure for bad moods is to summon good ones to take their places in the thought and thus force them out. I know of a woman who has prone to fits of the blues, who conquered them by forcing herself to sing bright, joyous songs and to play lively, inspiring airs on the piano whenever she felt an attack coming on. Do not let do not let anybody or anything shake your faith that you can conquer all these enemies of your peace and happiness and that you inherit an abundance of all that is good. If we were properly trained in the psychology of mental chemistry, we could change the state of our mind as quickly as we can change our clothing. The simple fact, however, that two opposite thoughts or emotions cannot live together an instant gives us the key to the whole matter. Every sane person can control and guide his mind. He can choose his thoughts and the good encouraging thought will neutralize the evil depressing one. It is just a question of holding in the mind the antidote of the thought that is torturing to us, robbing us of our birthright of success and happiness. Thank you for watching chapter 22. Next video is on chapter 23. The stimulus of rebuffs. If watching, check out manuskin.nl. Awesome health and beauty products. So, see you next time. Subscribe, like, and join my team.